The question I would pose to you is what would get someone to the degree or, or, or reduce them to the level whereby they can agree with an outside force that God lied? But we do it every day. You see, we do it every day because any time we are engaged in independent thinking, any time we think that we know more than God knows or we know what's best for us, let's, let's take God out of the equation right now. We think we know what's best for us. You follow that? We are in fact saying that God lied, that God lied. I don't believe the word of God. I don't believe that God word is in fact true. That's what is really being said. You can say it without saying it. You don't have to give word to it, but you can say it without saying it. It is saying that God lied. Now the word of God says, let God be true and every man a liar, which takes us beyond our level of understanding. And it says to us that I must reach for a degree of knowledge and understanding that I've not embraced as of yet. I've not adhered to it as of yet. And there are things about life, there are things about the things that I'm engaged in right now that I don't have full knowledge or understanding of, but I trust God enough to believe that he knows everything about it. I trust God. Now this is real, this is what's bringing us to a place of faith. So now, independent thinking, it is independence from God. It's independence from God first. That's first and foremost. But when we find, when we reach that point where we are trying to uh, get our independence from God, then it disturbs our own peace. We're not peace with ourselves unless we're at peace with God. Until we get to that place of being at peace with God, we're not at peace with ourselves. Now, how does this work? Because you see, what God said, the, the, here's what I want you to understand, is that the whole universe, and I would say all of God's creative order, operates by laws. Everything that God has made operates by laws. You, you don't believe that? Jump out of an airplane or jump off a building and see. Because there's a law, right? The law of gravity. You follow? So when you jump out there, guess what's going to happen? What goes up must come down because they're law. Uh, uh, you go through all the laws, every law, laws, laws that govern life, laws that govern God's creation. Everything about God's creation is governed by laws. You say, see that? So there are laws that we abide by. But understand why God put those laws there. He put those laws there so that man would not destroy himself. They weren't put there merely to, 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 to tease you, to say that I'm going to withhold from you the things that you want in life. He says, no, I've placed those laws there in order to give you what you really want in life. He said, because here's, the, here's what God knows. God has full knowledge that you don't know what's best for you. So now we're getting away from independent thinking. Now You don't know what's best for you. So every time you do for yourself what you think is best for you, independent of the word of God, guess what you're really doing? You're destroying yourself. That's self-destruction. You are in the process, you see, the, uh, dying is a process, but death is the state of being. You're in the process of dying every time you act outside of the established laws of God. And those laws govern all of nature. Everything in nature is governed by laws. Laws are governing. You, you see, you can look at anything in nature, you'll begin to see that they're governed by laws. So, so we have to be very careful when we talk about getting to a place where we are, we are beyond the law. Uh, because here's what happens. We, uh, the word is antinomianism is without law. But we're talking about when, when it comes to our redemption. Our redemption is a result of grace. We are saved by grace. But understand, but there are still laws that govern nature. Don't ever think that that... That, that, don't get the two confused. There are laws that govern nature, 
but we are redeemed by the grace of God. The laws of nature did not redeem us, neither did the laws of the commandments, the law and commandments. But here's what happens now. We talk about the objective of the law is for peace. I'm going to talk about this tonight. The objective is the law is to bring us to a place of order because God has ordered his universe. God has ordered his creation. All of nature is under the order and, 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 and the order of God. He said, so it's all ordered by God. He orders whatever he has created by law. And, and understand here, and when it works the way it's supposed to work, it produces peace. Peace inside of you and peace with others. Even law enforcement officers, they, law enforcement, they call them peace officers, don't they? These are peace officers. Why? Because they're the intent of government now is to produce peace. But that peace can only be established through order. 